Wherefore is that? What art thou that darest appear thus to us? Antony is dead. This is his sword. I robbed his wound a bit. For there a spirit ne'er did steer humanity. But you gods will give us some faults to make us men. His eyes touched. When such a spacious mirror is set before him, he needs must see himself. Oh, Antony, I have followed thee to this. But we do lance diseases in our bodies. I must perforce have shown to thee such a declining day or look on thine. We could not stall together in the whole world. But yet, let me lament that thou, my brother, my competitor in top of all design, my mate in empire, friend and companion in the front of war, the arm of mine own body, and the heart where mine his thoughts did kindle, that our stars unreconcilable should divide our equalness to this. Whence art thou? The queen, my mistress, confined in all she has, her monument, of thy intents, desires, and structure. Bid her have good heart. She soon shall know of us by some of ours, how honorable and how kindly we determine for her. For Caesar cannot live to be ungentle. So the gods preserve thee. Come hither. Procurator. Go and say we purpose her no shame. Give her what comforts the quality of her passion shall require, lest in her greatness by some mortal stroke she do defeat us. Caesar, I shall. Gallus. Go you and second Proculeus, for her life in Rome would be eternal in our triumph. What's thy name? My name? is Proculeus. <laughs> Antony did tell me of you, bade me trust you. But I do not greatly care to be deceived that have no use for trusting. If Caesar please to give me conquered Egypt for my son, he gives me so much of mine own as I will kneel to him with thanks. I hourly learn a doctrine of obedience and would gladly look him in the face. This I'll report, dear lady. Have comfort. For I know your plight is pitied of him that caused it. You see how easily she may be surprised. Oh, Cleopatra, take him, queen. Oh, quick, quick, good hand! Ah! Worthy lady, how? Do not abuse my master's bounty by the undoing of yourself. Guard her till Caesar come. Where art thou, death? Come hither, come, come. And take a queen worth many babes and beggars. Oh, temperance. Lady. Sir, I will eat no meat. I'll not drink, sir. Shall they hoist me up and show me to the shouting violatry of censuring Rome? Rather, a ditch in Egypt be gentle grave unto me. Rather on Nihilus mud lay me stark naked and let the water flies blow me into pouring. Rather make my country's high pyramides my gibbet and hang me up in chains. You do extend these thoughts of horror further than you shall find cause in Caesar. Proculeus, what thou hast done, thy master Caesar knows, and he hath sent for thee. For well, the queen, I'll take her to my guard. So, Dolabella, it shall content me best. Be gentle to her. To Caesar, I will speak what you shall please, if you'll employ me to him. Say I would die.
most noble empress, you have heard of me. <laughs> I cannot tell. Assuredly, you know me. No matter, sir. What I have heard or known. You laugh when boys or women tell their dreams. It's not your trick. I understand, Lord Madam. I dreamed. There was an emperor. Antony. Oh, such another sleep that I might see but such another man. If it might please you. His face was as the heavens, and therein stuck a sun and moon which kept their course and lighted the little O, the earth. Most sovereign his creature. His legs bestrid the ocean, his reared arm crested the world. If it might please ye. Think you there was or might be such a man as this I dreamed of? Gentle madam, no. You lie up to the hearing of the gods. Hear me, good madam. Your loss is as yourself great. And you bear it as answering to the weight. And I do feel by the rebound of yours a grief that smites my very heart at root. I thank you, sir. Know you what Caesar means to do with me. I am loath to tell you what I would you knew. Nay, pray you, sir. Though he be honorable. Lead me then in triumph. Madam, he will. I know it. Make way there, Caesar. Which is the queen of Egypt? It is the emperor, madam. Arise. You shall not kneel. I pray you, rise. Rise. Egypt. Sir, the gods will have it thus. My master and my lord, I must obey. Take to you no hard thoughts. So, sir, of the world. <laughs> I cannot project mine own cause so well to make it clear. Cleopatra, no. We will extenuate rather than enforce. If you apply yourself to our intents, which toward you are most gentle, you shall find a benefit in the change. But if you seek to lay on me a cruelty by taking Antony's course, you will deprive yourself of my good purposes and put your children to that destruction which I'll shield them from if thereon you rely. I'll take my leave. And may through all the world it is yours. Feed. And sleep. Our care and pity is so much upon you that we remain your friend. And so are you. My master. And my lord. Not so. <laughs> 